Hello, I am the Pocketbook Huntress and welcome to my channel. So, I am finally back to do another video. I know I've been missing in action for almost two weeks now, but I am back. I'll tell you a little bit about where I've been um, in a little bit. So, the first thing I want to do um, is tell you guys what we're going to be doing tonight. So, we have an unboxing, a unbagging, um, uh, one or two reveals. Um, before we do those things, I want to show you and give you an update on the bag that I carried for 21 days or the bag that I was supposed to carry for 21 days. So this is my beautiful Louis Vuitton Alma and I actually uh, challenged myself to carry this bag for 21 days after um, Gilta of Gilta Styles had challenged some of us to carry the same handbag for one week, which is only seven days. So if you guys remember, I had some... Um, some anxiety uh, behind uh, carrying the same bag and I just was uneasy about it. So I wanted to make sure that nothing unhealthy was happening to me. So I determined, I decided to carry the same bag for 21 days. I didn't carry the bag quite for 21 days um, because um, uh, a very close family member of mine ends up in the hospital. And so this is not the bag to take into um, a hospital setting, but I did carry it for about 19 days. So I, you know, at the end of those 19 days, I was not feeling any stress. I had no anxiety about the rest of the collection and I was like, hmm, okay. So I am kind of convinced that everything is everything and I am okay. So, and just because I want to carry a new handbag or a different handbag um, every day does not, I, I'm not sick, I'm okay. All right, so here she is. This is my beautiful, beautiful um, Alma. And I may not carry her for a while because she had a lot of work. She had a hell of a workout, trust me. So I'm gonna put her right over here. Okay, so now let's move on to the unboxing. So this bag arrived today from, this is um, from the Coach Outlet. Actually, Actually, I have this bag in my collection already in a couple of different colors, and I have a whole video um, dedicated to just this bag. But I wanted the bag in a couple of different colors. Uh oh, let me turn it around. And one of the colors I wanted this bag in was black. So, here we are. So, this is the, this is a Bryant bag, a mixed leather Bryant in black. So, this bag um, had been sold out, and about a week ago, it appeared on the website. It was about, you know, 6 in the morning, and I was just perusing the website, and this bag was there. And I really wanted to have this bag in black and also in chambray. Those are the colors that I did not pick the bag up. I'm happy that it's factory wrapped. At least I think it is. Yeah, it's factory wrapped. Okay, let's have a look at it. Let's get a look at this. All right, here she is. She's in pebbled leather. Oh! This bag is different from the ones that I had. This bag actually has suede on the bottom and the sides, okay? So I was going to show you the other bag later in, in the, the video, but because I pulled this one out, and this one is a little bit different, I'm gonna show you this one too. So this one has pebbled leather on the sides and the back, I mean, excuse me, on the bottom, with no feet, but this one is suede. Ooh la la. Okay. I like that. I like it. Okay, let's see here. Let's keep on going. Okay, so the inside pockets. Let's see what they are. Okay, so these are just kind of like lined in material. Here too. Here too, here too. Let me take out the strap for it. I'm gonna go ahead and take the strap out because this is not going anywhere. Now, I don't remember this bag saying online that it was um, that it was a mix, a mix, a mixed leather. I don't remember it saying that. But you know, a lot of times, you know, coach don't 
put everything on their description. But in this case, it's a very pleasant surprise. Very pleasant, I like it. Let me see here. So, when I saw this bag the first time, it did not have this suede on the bottom of this bag. The first time I saw it was at, uh, was in store, right around time for the semi-annual sale, last year's sale. And um, I was busy doing other things, so I didn't get it. But I'm glad I got it this time. Mm -hmm. okay. So, I don't know here. Anyway, let me remove it from here, and I might be able to move faster. Okay, let me see here. Because this is on here pretty darn good. And this is like one of the, the good parts I'm going to show you. Okay, here we go. All right. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful bag. I love that sway detail. I am so pleasantly uh, um, surprised by that. So, one of my subscribers sent me a question just yesterday, I believe it was, about this, this bag. And she wanted to know if an iPad 11 Pro would fit in. Um, I have an iPad 12 Pro and it will not, so I don't believe that a 11 will fit in either. But here she is. She, you know what? She seems to be just a little bit different. A light yet different. Hmm. I like this bag. I like this bag a lot. So, I now have this bag in my collection in this beautiful black with the suede oh my god that is so nice i love that okay and i have it in this color which i believe is beechwood and i also have it in this color this red color which i'm not sure of what it's called i probably have the tag in here to see what it is now I have a whole video already dedicated to this bag, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. So this is called the um, Deep Red. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it because I already have a whole video that's dedicated to all the specs about this bag um, and everything about it. So I will link that video to this one so you guys can see. So far, so now I have three convertible variants. But this one is just so different. Let me look at the price difference on this bag. So this one with the suede retailed for $3.95 in the US. And without the suede, let me see what it retailed for. $3.95. So there's no difference in price. No difference. It's such a nice bag. I am just so pleasantly surprised with that, with that suede. Now, let me tell you something, okay? Now, when I got this bag, when I picked it up, you know, I just wanted to have, you know, another, I knew it was a, pebble, a pebbled leather bag, and that, you know, I can, I don't have to be so so um, careful with it, but now that it has the suede on the, on the bottom and on the sides, I'm gonna have to be careful with this bag, um, unexpectedly, but I still would rather have it with this. Okay, so that is one un now I got a couple of other things I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to some of these things out of the way. All right. Okay. So the next thing, I got all this stuff up here. The next thing I'm going to show you is a bag by a new designer to my collection. Her name is Sassy Jones. And I bought this bag specifically because I received a call from my Auntie Patricia, okay, all the way from Arizona at 7 o'clock in the morning about this designer. So since Auntie Patricia was up making telephone calls at 7 a.m. about this designer, I said, well, you know what? I gotta have this bag, okay? And my Auntie Patricia um, is probably a part of the why I had this problem in the first place because she has lots of bags just like my mom did. Okay, so let me get the Sassy Jones bag. All right, so this is the Sassy Jones bag, okay? So it came in this nice black dust bag. 
And then it was also inside of this bag. Okay, Sassy Jones. Now I'm not reviewing these bags. You know, I have not, I haven't used this bag. I just opened it up and have a, an idea of, a, of it, but I have not really used the bag. So let me take it out. So this is the Sassy Jones bag. This is in the color winter white. Four feet, it's a nice bag. It's got, I'm not sure what this is made out of, okay? Now, about this bag. There is a very chemical odor coming from this bag, okay? Chemical. I'm not a fan of that, of that smell. Also, when I look at this bag, I'm trying to get a good picture so you guys can see it really good. Okay. I think that, in theory, the bag is nice. Okay. And I'm trying to get, get a, because it's white against the, the lighting. Okay, there you go. Um, in theory, it's a really nice bag. Okay. I would have preferred to have a better leather than this. I got to get my cake plate. When I look at this bag, just looking at it, it comes with this gold strap that is not detachable. I find this strap to be too shiny for my liking. Okay. And so far, that's the Sassy Jones bag. Okay. Also, where I may think there may be a problem area is the opening. It's going to be very difficult to get your things in and out of this bag. Very difficult, okay? So I'm not sure how I'm feeling about that and how I'm feeling about having to um, stretch this bag to get stuff out of it and stuff into it. So I'm not sure about this either. Okay? But this is my first Sassy Jones bag. She does a lot of, like, jewelry and things like that, too. I want to give her a, a new shot, uh, give her a shot. Um, I think that when this bag was on the website, it was only in three colors. It's totally sold out now, okay? This bag in all the colors is sold out, okay? So um, I'm gonna see how we do. I mean, she has not had her maiden voyage yet, so, you know, I would say that the jury is still out on this one. Um, yes, I'm definitely on the fence about this bag. She also comes with this long crossbody strap. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see here. And some kind of way, I feel like the light is washing this bag out. So let me come bring her a little closer. So this is Sassy Jones back in the winter white color. All right, so we did an unboxing, an unbagging, an update. Okay, so let me put this bag over here. Now I want to show you. Now this bag is a bag that I had wanted for some time. Right around Christmas, this collection went on sale um, at the outlet. It was a retail bag, everything went to the outlet. And it was just like a great collection to pick up at that price. But there was one bag there um, that was retailing for $995. At that time, it went on sale half off. And it's kind of like stayed at half off. I wasn't really ready to spend $500 for the bag. So I didn't pull the trigger on it. Okay. But, and I've already got her out of the box and out of the bag. And that's going to be this bag right here. Okay. Now, this is a fun bag, okay? It's a fun bag. This is from the Tom Busselman collection. Um, this is the only piece that I didn't have from the collection that I wanted, okay? But I was not going to spend $995 for it because the bag has a big old mouth on the front of it, okay? <laughs> but it's a beautiful leather bag. It is well made. It smells good. It's a 1941 bag. Here's the 1941 
branding right here. Okay, and it's just a, it's, it's a, a, a huge bag. This is a very, very large bag. This bag would be good for, you know, maybe as a carry-on bag or um, a work bag, but it is huge in there. Okay, it's huge. Okay, so I've just got her stuffed with a few things now, okay? So I picked this bag up when this bag hit 75% off. And let me tell you, so I had kind of just washed it and washed it and washed it and washed it. One night, okay, around mm, four in the morning, somewhere around in there, four or five in the morning, I was up. So I said, well, let me see if anything is new on the website. They had marked the bag down for 75% and there was only seven bags left. I had that fast, right? <laughs> so I hurried up, you know, added to cart and purchased it. I didn't even look at anything else on the website because I knew that if I didn't hurry up, this bag was going to be gone. Lo and behold, okay, by 6 o'clock, this bag was totally sold out. By 6 a.m., it was gone. I have not seen it on the website again. Now, when I got the bag, this bag came from a store, and I noticed that it has some maybe wrinkling in this bottom lip. I'm not sure whether or not that's really supposed to be there or not. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send Winnie B., a message because she also has this bag and she showcases it on her, on her channel to find out if that's supposed to be now I'm not gonna send the bag back I mean I only paid two hundred and forty nine dollars for it so I won't be sending this bag back and for that price it is a great bag and you know a fun carry and I told you guys this year in 2023 I'm gonna have some fun this this year is about me having fun and this is a fun bag okay and I'm definitely gonna be using this bag. I am so excited to have this bag in my collection. So, that is a reveal. So we've done an unboxing, an unbacking, a reveal, an update, and I've got my bag of the day that I'm gonna show you guys really quickly. And it is no, none other than my beautiful broccolini bag that I got from Aruba. I love this bag, okay? She is so gorgeous, okay? She is such a great carry. This leather is so soft and she smells so good. This bag is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Italian leather bag. Okay, like I said, this is my first broccolini bag. It will not be my last. She is so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. I wore it with the dress that I'm wearing today that I have on right now to my office and she was stunning. I had a beautiful belt to go on with it and some shoes. She was great. So, I think, I think that's all I have for this video. I could not help but notice that we're almost at 300 subscribers. I think that um, when we get to 500 subscribers, we're going to do a giveaway on this channel. I have not determined what the giveaway is going to be yet. I have a little time to make, to, you know, to think on that, but we're going to have one. Okay. So that is all I have in this particular video. So we've got our unboxing, our unbagging, our reveal, our update and our bag of the day all in this video I want to keep the video under 20 minutes so I'm gonna be just about finished in just a second here okay so if I have entertained you at all please remember to hit the subscribe button and once you hit that subscribe button just go over a little bit to the notification bell and hit that button so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video also, talk to me in the comments about these bags. Do you like them? Do you not like them? What do you like about them? What don't you like about them? We can have a whole discussion in the comment section, okay? And also, give me a thumbs up. Okay, thumbs up help me. and They make me feel good, so give me some thumbs up. So, I told you guys I was going to tell you where I have been. <laughs> you know, if I had my way, okay, I would shoot a YouTube video every few days. Sometimes that works out. Sometimes it doesn't, and this was one of those times that it just didn't work out. So I had a very close family member um, in the hospital. You know, she'd been, she'd been there for about 10 days, so, you know, my, a lot of my time was spent there, and my mind was not here because of that. My little girls were getting ready to go to a daddy daughter dance with their father, so we had to get the dresses and all that kind of stuff done for them, and that daddy daughter dance was last Saturday, so now I've got that out of the way. And not only that, you know, you have work, work was so busy, and then you had that thing called life, okay? So life sometimes gets in the way and takes precedence over me filming my YouTube videos, okay? But 
just want to let you guys know that for right now, I am back. And I don't think that I have anything else coming up right this minute um, or right in my life this next month. So I might be back on track with filming. Okay. So again, that's all I have for right now. Thank you so much for watching. And again, this bag right here is still on the website. It is still there right now on the website. So if you like this bag, okay, now's the time to buy it. This bag was $197.50. And I thought it was $197.50 because of the color, because I didn't pay that much for the other two. But because the color was a darker color, that's why I, that's why I thought it was uh, at a different price point. But it could, have, it could have something to do with the suede, okay? So that's all I have for right now. I'm gonna talk to you guys later. I'm gonna to try to film another video because I'm a little bit behind um, before the, the morning the morning hits. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye.